Hey everyone, Greg here from Lens Pro to Go, and in this video we're going to be talking about white balance and color temperature. What is white balance? So white balance is the process of adjusting your camera to reproduce white accurately. So the white that you see in real life is how that white is going to look in your camera. What I have here is a simple camera menu, and I'm going to go into the white balance. And you can see there's already some presets in here, so tungsten 3200K, fluorescent 4300K, daylight, daylight cool. We're going to go and add our own custom one here. This number here, so going from 2000 all the way up to 11,000, is the white balance settings. And this is in Kelvin, or K. So you'll see this K a lot. Most cameras don't quite have the range that this camera does. They might go from something like 25, 26, up to mid 8,000s or less. Um, this camera has a pretty great range going from 2,000 all the way up to 11,000. Now jumping over to talk about color temperature, this is what you refer to when you're talking about the source's color. So not your camera settings, but the actual source of the light. In most cases, this is gonna be somewhere between 2,000 to 8,000, depending on what lights you're using. Obviously, it can go higher and lower than that. If you go much lower than that, you're gonna start getting into your infrared spectrum. And if you go much higher than that, you're gonna start getting into your ultraviolet lights. So I have seven lights set up here, ranging in different color temperatures. This first one starting at 2,000 degrees Kelvin. And this is gonna be your candlelight setup. So if you're lighting something with either really low tungstens or in candlelight, that's what this first color is gonna be. Next is going to be at 2800 degrees Kelvin. And I'm also gonna tie this in with the following one, which is at 3400 degrees Kelvin. And these two are gonna be your normal like tungsten-like fixtures. So these ones are going to be, if you have a bedside lamp, most practical like floor lamps, and even some of the bigger lighting setups use tungsten bulbs. And this is gonna be the range that those color temperatures are gonna be in. Next we have our 4,500 degree range. And this is gonna be your fluorescent lights. So if you're in an office space or a hospital, Usually these are the lights that also have very bad cast to them where you're going to need that color correction or that color cast uh, like we looked at for the white balance. Next we have our 5600 degree and our 6500 degree Kelvin. And these two are going to be our sun or daylight. It can range, it can go a little bit lower than that, a little bit higher than that, depending on what the weather's like. If it's overcast, it's obviously going to be higher. If it's a really bright blue sky out, it might be a little bit lower than this. Uh, but those are gonna be your range for your daylight. And then we go over to this last light, and this one is at 8,000 degrees Kelvin. And this one's gonna be giving you that very moonlight color. So it's gonna be very blue on your subjects, and it's almost gonna replicate that moonlight look. So this light right here is the light that I am currently white balanced to. So my camera is set at 4,500 degrees Kelvin, and that's why this light right here is being reproduced as white. Anything above that, so any of the numbers higher in Kelvin, so going from 45 up to 8,000, are going to be cooler looking colors. Obviously, the farther away you go from your white balance, the more blue or cool those lights are gonna look. Same thing in the opposite direction. So if we go down from 4,500 degrees Kelvin, everything is gonna be warmer and getting warmer the farther you go away. So in this next part that I'm gonna show you, I'm not gonna change any of the color temperatures of the lights. I'm only gonna be changing the camera color temperature, just so you can see how this affects the look and color of each of the lights. Here's all of those same lights. I haven't changed the color temperatures at all, but now I am white balanced at 2000 degrees Kelvin. So this light is being reproduced as white and anything above that is increasingly cooler or more blue and anything below that is gonna be warmer. If we go over to the next one, so we're going up and now we are gonna be white balanced at 2800 degrees Kelvin. You can see that the light, the one light below it is a little bit warmer and then all of these lights above that 2800 degree Kelvin are going to be cooler. We'll just jump through the rest of these really quick so you can see how it affects as you go up. 
So now we're white balanced at 3,400 degrees Kelvin. Now we're changing our camera setting and we're white balanced at 4,500 degrees Kelvin. This is what it looked like at the beginning. Now we'll go up to 5,600. Now we're gonna go up to 6,500. Again, some warmer lights, just barely having some blue in that 8,000 degrees. And then we're white balanced at 8,000 degrees Kelvin. Now everything below that is going to be warmer and everything above that is gonna be cooler. Obviously we don't have any lights that go above 8,000, so we only have warm lights in the scene. So by using these color temperatures and your white balance, you can adjust how warm or cool your scene is and that can give you some emotion. Here's some samples. So I have this light right here and we are white balanced to roughly 5,600. It looks like it's a little bit above that because this light is a little bit warm coming in from the back and we're getting some really nice white light coming off of the computer. But if I wanted to change the mood of this scene or how I wanted the viewers to feel about it, just by changing the color temperature of my camera, I can change the look and feel dramatically. So here I've changed the camera white balance now to 4,000. So these lights are still up at that 5,600 degree Kelvin. This one's probably even a little bit bluer, probably closer to 6,000 or 7,000. And we're getting a much cooler feel to the overall scene. Now I can go the opposite direction and even start mixing these color temperatures to change how the mood feels. I kept our computer monitor the same color, so that's still shooting up at 6,000 to 7,000. That's that very blue light coming onto our face, but now I've changed the light's color temperature. So I've changed this down to say 3,200, and that's where you're getting that warm tungsten light coming in. And that's gonna give us a very different feel from this one where we're using much cooler colored lights or even this one where we're white balanced pretty close to what it should be. And that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and stay tuned because we have so much more content like this coming out. And if there's anything specific you guys wanna see, leave a comment below and also let us know if you have any questions on this topic or anything else that we've covered. Thanks for watching.